Leeds city centre is buzzing. 150 years ago, the wool and mill trades brought in the wealth. Now it's e-commerce and international finance bringing demand back into the heart of the city. So, is this the best moment to be a first-time buyer? It's always nerve-wracking buying your first property, but actually now's a really good time to take the plunge. Interest rates at their lowest in 40 years, but demand for property is outstripping supply, so you have to be able to move fast. And that's good news for chain-free first-time buyers. People like Anne and Tom, they've decided it's time to make that leap. Right now, they're renting possibly the smallest house in Leeds, just on the edge of Headingley. I like to do a lot of cooking. Um, cook for my friends and there's just not much room. Ideally we'd just like a bigger kitchen. And the main problem we have is that uh, it's a back-to-back -back terrace, uh, neighbours through there and the same goes right and left, neighbours with no garden at all so we just want a bit more room really. So they've decided to take the plunge, a budget of £100,000, a mortgage in place and they know what they want. I think two or possibly three bedroomed house. I like a garden, so if, uh, in the summer I like to have my friends around and we have barbecues and things like that. We've seen these areas that they're you know, hot, they're up and coming, um, so I think we might possibly have to pay a touch more than 100,000. I also want a house that I can, well we want a house we. that we can do our own things to. I have my ideas, it might not be the same as Tom's but... Yeah, there'll be a few arguments along the way but we just want to get our, our house you know, make it our own and uh, enjoy living in Leeds. They've set their heart on Headingley, a vibrant village atmosphere a mile from the city centre. Bars, funky shops and cafe culture make it one of the most popular areas, and houses and flats are in demand. So it's an early start on our first day of house hunting. Well, this is Headingley. We know it's your favourite part of the city. It is, yes. It's where we spent most of our days as students and where we come most evenings for a drink with friends. But I gather you have a actually been into any properties yet? As yet, we've not actually got in there and seen the houses, so... Uh... Well, that's really exciting for us because we have a pair of viewing virgins and we can teach you how to do it properly. <laughs> <laughs> Kirsty! It's not just Tom and Anne who want a fashionable address in Headingley. Properties are selling fast. At the moment, their £100,000 will buy a flat, but not one single house. We've decided to show Tom and Anne a house that fulfills most of their desires. Just a mile from the killer prices of Headingley, here you get more for your money. This 50s semi in Hyde Park has three bedrooms and is a touch over budget, but we think there's a deal to be done. Now this is new carpet and I've promised the vendor that we will keep it looking new. So a lot of... yep. The house has a rustic cottagey feel, but with the space of a 50s semi. Could it be the perfect first time buy? The wooden floor. Strip wooden floor. Wooden Ooh. floor, I love that. Yeah. Fireplace. This is a gas stove, so you haven't got to go on putting the coal in it, but you still get the effect of a of a coal burning stove. So we don't have to do any work, just uh, no. just enjoy it. It just looks yeah. nice. Usually we say to people, how does it compare in size to other things that you've seen? But of course, you've not seen anything. No, how does it compare that. with what you wished for? Well, what we're living with at the minute is so small that anything would seem big. It's cozy, isn't it? Isn't I think I'd change the colour of the walls, though. I think that's really important you've got to remember as a first-time viewer. Don't imagine in this room this colour. Don't imagine it with this furniture in. Close your eyes for a second, feel the space, and imagine a different room. Hmm. Not bad so far. Will the big kitchen diner impress them? <gasps> wow. Nice. It is, isn't it? It's a fantastic you... kitchen, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Do you entertain much at home? Yeah, at least once yes, a week uh, we have our friends around, we have this rotor going <laughs> that okay. we all go to each other's oh, houses. Fine. Come the summer, they could have their mates around for a barbecue. The view's great, but it's not what it seems. The patio is yours, but the grass isn't. Now, on the negative side, we don't know what that building is. And if you were interested in this house, we'd have to very carefully look into it. But if they were to suddenly build there, it would knock the value of this house very severely. And the secluded patio isn't straightforward either. Now, although the owner of this house can do anything they like with the garden, it does seem that there's a right of access through here which belongs to the next door house. If you're looking at something similar, don't immediately be put off by something like this, but do insist early in the negotiations that clear evidence is sent through to your solicitor. Tom and Anne don't know the area, but inside it's, um, well, nice. 
Nice size bedroom. Nice view. Oh, it's nice. Big window. Yeah, it's lovely. Nice. Very nice, isn't it? Yeah. First-time buyers are always on a budget, and this kitchen floor is a great alternative to tiles or real wood. Laminate flooring is easy to fit yourself and can cost from just £5 a square metre. It's got lots of things that we've wanted. It's got drive, the hallway. It's got I think the kitchen is the that's, main thing for me. That is lovely. I think that's superb. I'd want to perhaps just drive around the area, just... We don't know it too well, do no. we? I'd like to... Ah, so location may be a problem. It's time to move on. They clearly like the space, but they still long for a smart location and they're dreaming of one place, Headingley. But they just don't have the cash. Phil and I think it's time for a reality check. Now, the next property that we've chosen to show Anne and Tom is bang in the heart of Headingley, exactly where they wanted to be. But there is a compromise. It's a flat. It's a little bit smaller than the one that we've come from. It's got two bedrooms and it is in budget. It'll be interesting to test the old adage Location, location, location. This apartment is seconds from the shops and bars. £95,000 buys a smart address. But is it big enough? It's a flat. It's a, it's flat. a flat, yeah. Ah, not going well. Say that. Mm, there's not much space at all. Cook, not no, much shopping service. Yeah. I think if you're... All sounds a bit definite in there. I'm always trying to turn the negative into the positive. What I can say is that we've already learnt that buying in central Headingley, where they really want to be, the budget just doesn't match up with the requirement for space. It's simply not big enough. One of them, and if you get two people in here, you're just going to be banging into each other. And... Kirsty? Uh huh. I don't want to appear rude, but I don't sense there's point in spending any more time, is there, guys? I don't no, think so. Don't no. think so. Not for us. Just a bit, a bit too small, I think. Mm. Tip for the future, if you know something's not for you and you often do within the first 11 seconds, still have a look round. An insulted vendor is an angry agent and you don't want to be blacklisted. When choosing a property, it's always a trade-off between space and location. It's clear Tom and Anne want value for money, but in the right area. Developers and estate agents suggest Horsforth, about 10 minutes further out, as one of Leeds' new property hotspots. Buying now in an up-and-coming area means we get more for our money. A traditional Leeds semi, this house has only two bedrooms, but they're spacious. The asking price is £95,000. I like the stair, eh? That's a bit funky. I uh, know, it is, isn't it? Funky, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> it just grabs me straight away. Yeah, Bang. it does grab you. It's owned by a joiner who bought it cheap, made some improvements, but hasn't quite finished the job yet. Looking beyond the clutter, the house seems structurally sound and any work just cosmetic. It's striking again, isn't it? It's spacious. <laughs> Why do I get the feeling that striking isn't a compliment? No, I think it, you know, I, I like it, but it just, we need to, I think we need to make it uh, our own. But. Exactly, that's exactly the right attitude. The fireplace looks lovely. Is it quite high maintenance? Not at all. This is one of those multi-fuel burning stoves. You can put coal or wood in there. It really blasts out the heat. And you can just shut the door and go to bed and you don't have to worry about it. Good luck. What do you think? I think it's gone well today. We've learned a bit. I think that first house was a winner. Yeah. But this is my favourite of the three so far. I knew you'd like this one because there's stacks of opportunity. Yeah, before. that's the thing. No, I like this. That's lovely. Nice mosaic pattern. Not convinced that they'll buy into that yet. It's just they'd be biting off more than they could chew with this one. It, it is all cosmetic. Mm. I think you think it's going to be a bit, a bit too much, possum. I think for the, for the price, the amount of work we'd have to do. Of the three, I think it's my favourite. Do you? Yeah, I think you're a bit scared by what we've got to do with it, but. Well, I think it'll be a lot of work, and for the amount of money you're spending. I get the feeling that Anne is a bit daunted by what she perceives as the amount of work that needs doing. But look at this bathroom. Look at what has been done. New boiler fitted, new basin, new bath, mosaic tiling. All it needs is a new floor and that's only £150. It's a little thing. But is it big enough to put Anne off? The end of a busy day one and just as Tom predicted, there's disagreement. I like, you know, quite like it. I admit there's a hell of a lot to do. Possibly too much, I don't know, but... It certainly gets my attention, so... Well, I originally, when I walked in, liked the quirkiness. 
I thought, oh, this is different. And then as I've gone round, I think, I think I'm a bit more of a traditionalist, and I like the first house a lot better. Well, there's no need to make your mind up now. Let's sleep on it. We've got another bunch of houses to see in the morning. Two out of three on the first day is a pretty yeah. good start. So, issues to resolve overnight. Tomorrow, we've got another up-and-coming area to tempt them. But how do you find the next property hotspot? You need to play property detective. Good transport links usually mean the area is right for attracting young professionals. New branches of cafes and restaurants from the big brand retail chains are a good clue. They'll have spent a fortune researching the area so you won't have to. Look out for new developments such as loft apartments targeting the upwardly mobile. And when estate agents open new offices in the area, you know it's really soaring.